Science is in. Knowing which of these four new body types fits you can help you maximize your weight loss results. Dr. Oz shares the latest research on body types and how it can help you target and take off those unwanted pounds. Dr. Oz joining us live in New York. Good morning to you. So for years we've been labeling body types as like an apple shape or a pear shape or a boy shape. Uh, this new research seems to be changing that though. Well, we knew there was something going on. Dieters have sort of figured out parts of this, but we also realized that your body shape told us a lot about whether it was dangerous fat or not, and hmm. maybe gave you some clues about how to lose the fat. So we've actually looked at this research. Turns out that people have the big beer belly. That fat tends to accumulate because of too much stress in people's lives. So the treatment's about managing your stress, which is not just about emotional things. It's also about things like omega-3 fatty acids that hmm. we know help the brain cope better with coming up with new ideas, which is part of coping with stress. But if you got that pear shape, that's from too much estrogen. That's why women tend to get it. Great for childbearing and feeding a young kid, but not so great if you can't fit in your pants. So the solutions <laughs> there are a little different. We'll talk about them uh, on the show. But what about people who have love handles? And what about folks who have bat wings? Those are caused by different types of hormonal abnormalities. For example, people with bat wings we think may have low testosterone levels, so they're not building up muscle to use up the extra space, so the fat sags. And so solutions there range from getting more sunlight and vitamin D because we know that affects testosterone, but exercising helps it as well. So we're going to walk you through a lot of ideas on which foods help, which foods won't help, and what to focus on based on your body type with the newest insights. You know, it seems like there are so many diets out there. I mean, some diets rely on your blood type. We've got this one on your body type. If you just really focus on one and you stick to one, shouldn't it work? I mean, is one really better than the other? So there was a great study looking at the four biggest diets, which, you know, each of them sort of represents the category. And they showed that as long as you, as you stayed on the diet, it worked. But learn, that's a big catch. It turns out that the reason some diets work for some people better than others is because it's easier for them to stay on it. So, for example, if you're a person who has that big belly we spoke of earlier, and you can reduce inflammation in your body by both cutting out stress but also inflammatory foods like simple carbohydrates, mm -hmm. you'll lose that belly fat more rapidly. As opposed to people who need to build a little muscle mass, which works like a metabolic furnace building and burning calories, or people who have you know, big bottom sides, the, the, pear, the old fashioned pear shape, they do better with cruciferous vegetables and, and things that block estrogen in their body a right. little bit. So, it, again, it nudges them over the finish line. Okay, okay. Another weight loss topic you're going to be talking about this week on Dr. Oz is that your Friday episode, I just like the title of it, it was Flatter by Friday. Yes, sign us up. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you're claiming in one week you can shrink your stomach. Well, a lot of folks know they cut one week before the deadline, whether it's going on spring break, a, a, a wedding, or some party. So in one week, can you really lose weight? Well, it turns out you can, but most of it's water weight, which as long as we acknowledge that, there are some really effective ways of cutting down uh, that extra water that's pounded in, uh, on top of your hips and your joints that it makes you look heavier than you really are. I'll give you one okay. little tip. It's a, it's, a, it's a great experience. If you have a donut, just a donut, it carries with it about a quarter cup of water. It'll hold on the water in your body. So on Friday, I'm going to walk you through a plan to cut out carbs, especially after lunch, and cut out some of the processed foods that go along with the, uh, the, 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 process, the, uh, the sugar. And without those carbs in the afternoon, you will lose water weight very rapidly. So within a week, huh. you'll flatten out your belly and avoid the bloating that goes along with it. And you're going to take away my donut. Thanks. <laughs> and the donut it. goes. There you go. You can see Dr. Oz weekdays at 2 on Fox 4. Today, he actually talks to Real Housewives of uh, Beverly Hills star Yolanda Foster about her struggle with a chronic illness. That's coming up right here on Fox 4.